Towering over the west coast of South America, the Andes Mountains are the largest above water mountain range in the world. Home to thousands of species, one is on the brink of extinction. Leopardus jacobita, more commonly known as the Andean cat, is an endangered species with an estimated population of 1,372. There are many issues causing the near extinction, including habitat destruction, loss of resources, and hunting. The Andean cat's habitat is being threatened by mining for minerals, vitamins, and salts. Habitat degradation of the Andean cat will lead to them being furtherly endangered. In addition, the food source is already scarce, and their main prey, the small rodent called the mountain viscacha, is hunted as well. The Andean cats are found in South America in areas such as the High Andes in Chile, Argentina, and Peru. They are found in the mountains. The climate is cold and rainy. The temperature peaks at around 66 degrees Fahrenheit, but can be as low as 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Yearly precipitation reaches around 1,200 millimeters. Some abiotic factors include the mountain's angle of 15 to 45 degrees, temperatures from around 30 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit on average, and an annual precipitation of 1,200 millimeters. Biotic factors include the mountain being home to many salt deposits, deciduous woodlands and shrubs, and around 600 species of mammals and 1,700 species of birds. The Andean cat's relatives include the pampas cat, northern tiger cats, caracals, and Iberian lynxes. All these cats are only slightly bigger than a regular house cat. However, they are a lot more vicious. Reproduction of the Andean cat occurs once a year. Although not much is known about their processes, it is believed that they have similar reproductive habits to their relative the pampas cat. The pampas cat reproduces from April to July and has litters of one to three kittens. The Andean cat has had to make many adaptations throughout its years of surviving in the Andes mountains. They have thick fur that helps them stay warm and conserve heat in the winter. They are endothermic and homeothermic, allowing for them to metabolically generate heat and maintain stable body temperatures. They are nocturnal hunters, which makes their prey easier to catch. Unlike larger cats, the Andean cat cannot make roaring sounds, rather sounds of a cat like a purr or meow. The Andean cat is a consumer and carnivore, with their main prey being the mountain chinchillas and mountain visitia. The Andean cats are endangered because of many factors such as habitat loss, mining, petroleum industries, and human hunting. The growing industries in the South American highlands and Patagonian steppe, expansion of agriculture and farming are killing the cats because they are predators of livestock and have been decreasing their population for decades. In addition, the Indian cats are killed by dogs, which is not very responsible because they are wild and have no sense of mercy, which can be very dangerous for the cats. The Indian Cat Alliance was created back in 1999 and aims to preserve their habitat by trying different alternatives to get resources to local communities. This reduces the pressure for the Indian Cat's natural resources. Humans are making conservation efforts, but there are still many that illegally hunt the Indian Cat and use them for their fur and for medicine. The population is still decreasing, but more and more people are spreading awareness about the endangered species. Andean cats live in rocky ranges where food is scarce and weather is extreme. Their range is so inhospitable humans can't research the area. In addition, the Andean cat is not well known so it is hard for conservation groups and other organizations to help the Andean cat get what they need to survive. Illegal hunting of the Andean cat continues on and is affecting their population. Their main prey is being hunted as well which is causing a lack of resources. The Indian cats are also a desired by South Americans as their fur can be used on coats and other garments to make them look more luxurious. In the future, their population will continue to decrease because of extensive mining in their habitat, being hunted for their fur and lack of their main prey because of hunting. The Andean cat conservation has not gone well as of now and more and more hunters are hunting them as well as degrading their environment which will only cause a further decline for them. Andean cats are important predators as they prey on herbivores. If Andean cats did not prey on herbivores, there would be an overabundance of them, which would lead to a lack of producers and less energy for the ecosystem. Another service that Andean cats provide is that Andean cats create food for scavengers. Without them, scavengers would not be able to prey on the remains of animals. While these services are similar, they serve for two different groups on the food web that both rely on the Andean cat eating its prey. If the Andean cats go extinct, then the rodent population will increase rapidly because their main predator will not be hunting for them. 
After this, the rodents will move on to humans and start to feast on our grains and transmit diseases. In addition, the rodents will feed on grass and other producers. More rodents means less producers. Therefore, animals and less energy moving through the food chain. Here are some quick facts about the Indian cow. The Indian cow was first discovered in 1865. There are 23 to 25 inches in length and 8.5 to 12 pounds in weight. The tail is 16 to 19 inches long. Indian cats have lighter fur as young cats. The Indian cat's tail helps it balance while chasing after prey. Indian cats have a black nose, rounded ears, sturdy body, large feet, and a thick tail. Indian cats have a great sense of hearing that helps them find prey at night. Scientists radio collared an Indian cat in 2004, but it died before they could get any information. One conservation effort that we would like to highlight is the Indian Cat Alliance. The Indian Cat Alliance was founded in 1999 by conservation specialists from Argentina, Chile, and Peru. Their mission is to develop coordinated actions and initiatives to help protect the Indian cat and its habitat. In addition, the Indian Cat Alliance helps inform the people of South America of the cat and what they can do to help slow down the decrease of the Indian cat's population. The Alliance has created specific programs to help with the conservation of the Indian cat. For example, one program works with South American artists to make art which uses material that closely resembles Indian cat fur without actually harming the Indian cat or any other animal in any way. Thank you for watching the video.